I'm Paul Miles, I'm the Professor and Chair of Anaesthesia at the Department of Anaesthesia and Perioperative Medicine here at the Alfred Hospital in Monash University. Well as an anaesthetist obviously we see patients a lot uh, early after recovery in the days that follow and our main focus historically has been around good quality pain management but now we want to broaden that to look at other aspects of recovery such as their cognitive recovery, their physical and other functional characteristics, the ability to eat and drink and walk soon after surgery and we believe by optimising that recovery profile we can reduce complications, reduce their time in hospital, get them home with their families, back to their jobs which is what they really want. The Alfred Hospital and of course the Central Clinical School of Monash University are based here at the AMREP site. It's a fantastic location. It's the biggest research precinct in all of Australia. Uh, it's got on the same site not just the Monash University Central Clinical School, uh, but also the Burnett Institute, the Baker Institute for Cardiovascular Research. Big range of high quality researchers both in basic science and in clinical research and we collaborate with many of these groups. I think the strengths of the department are that we are in fact conducting a lot of research that's relevant to our practice. We're always questioning what we're doing. Are we doing the best thing possible? Is there new ways we can treat patients or care for them better both during the operation and afterwards? And through that you know, ongoing critical appraisal and questioning, we come up with new ideas or we read the journals and realise that there perhaps could be new advances that we should at least consider. We are an academic hospital, uh, we're a training hospital. We have at any one time more than 30 registrars and fellows. So they gain a lot clinically in their year with us. So they obviously get different perspectives, but at the same time they can see research in action. And we very much want to foster that. We encourage additional research being done by our trainees. There's opportunities for them to do a more formal research fellowship or even a PhD within the department. All the time we're looking to provide support and mentorship for people to not only be an excellent doctor or a clinician, but to be a clinician researcher.